John, Thanks. new draft of the script? Yeah. All right. On the ball. All right. Man. Thanks One, for actually, tight, tight, tight. One sec. Sit down there a minute if you don't mind. I have a question for you. Do you love me? Huh? Do you think I'm a big deal? Like, do you look up to me? Yeah. Yeah. You see, you see I've got something going on, right? And I think this could be very, very interesting for you. Okay. I run the CIA. You run the Central Intelligence Agency? No, 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 not that CIA. The Cork Independence Army. Do you know the People's Republic, the, the real capital thing? How do you feel about that? Yeah, I suppose it's, it's a bit of a laugh, like, isn't it? Wrong answer, kid. This is no laughing matter, Tyke. Oh, no. As Commander-in-Chief of the CIA, I hereby declare that Cork's future lies outside of the Republic of Ireland. Yes, the maps have been drawn up, and the future, it is red. You're, you're looking to cut Cork off Ireland, is it? Cut it loose by. It's all systems going out, Tyke. We're going to take over the GPO next year, the Cork one, obviously. For the benefit of viewers in the Dublin area, it should be noted that that reference to the Cork GPO was not in fact a gag. Cork has had its own general post office since 1877. But I wouldn't expect you to know that. All you think about is yourselves. We'll have our own centenary celebrations to mark the setting up of the Cork Free State. They can't deny us that, boy. Well, they definitely should deny us that, shouldn't they? Because it would be a hundred years before we can celebrate that, wouldn't it be? Like you're talking about setting up a new state, aren't you? Anyway, anyway, the Frank and Walters are writing our national anthem to be performed by Frank himself. Cork, Cork, son, real. Son, real, Cork, Cork, son, real. <laughs> Cork can be very nice and fair. Ah, well, they're still working on it. Look up behind you. Furthermore, yeah. I've got a contact number for Sonia O'Sullivan. Yeah. And I'm hoping that Roy Keane will be our first Prime Minister. If, of course, we can meet his demands. What are they? Well, you see, he only has eight friends. And he wants them all in the cabinet. What's the problem with that? Do you not like him? It's not that I don't like them. They're all guide dogs. Anyway, look, I want you involved. You see, I like the way you write. You know that spoofing stuff that you go on with? I don't, that's harsh. Like, I try my best. It's bullshit. Best. What now? I want you to be our bullshitter, our propagandist boy. You know the way everybody knows that the word cork comes from the ancient Celto Sanskrit word, meaning heaven sent? No, it doesn't. But it could. Right. Um, John, I'm actually going to head off, I'd say. Yeah, hang on one second there. Hello? Sonia, how are you, girl? Great, great, great. Yeah, yeah, it's Castle Lumber to y'all. Run it? No, no, I don't want to run it at all. I want to cut it. You don't anyone with two or three thousand kangaroo hammers to spare, no? Sorry, John. Uh, the Dublin folks are outside there for you. Ah, the Dublin gang, lovely. 